Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a mohawk uh, thing here because we're going to do a two-piece uh, mother shell on this. What you're going to do is get some cut-up cardboard. I use about three inches width and the length doesn't matter because you're going to be cutting it. And what you do is you're going to do what's called a shadow frame, the mohawk. So in order to start getting the shape, as you can see, you get some light pointing at your object and you see it cast a shadow. So what you're going to want to do is get your Sharpie and just get about the edge there a little bit and then start marking it and then start cutting it and then start putting it in place and cutting little cuts until you get it to be nice and flush. And we'll get our mohawk here. What you do is you grab your hot glue gun and start gluing the pieces of cardboard together. Because um, if you just try putting it on here, uh, depending on what hot glue, the one I'm using does not stick on here, it just comes off the silicone. So put it on the cardboard so you could go ahead and start uh, putting it on there. I'll show you guys what I have so far. Okay, here's the completed uh, mohawk or shadow frame created. Uh, what I did is, uh, like I said, I glued the cardboards together with hot glue because the glue really won't stick to the silicone or the glue I have won't stick to it. Um, used my glue gun with glue sticks. And what I did is I did a bead of glue all around the edge, kind of pressed it with my finger just to make a nice little uh, seam there. So when I do the, sil uh, the actual fiberglassing on this side, it won't leak to the other side. So it'll keep anything from going to the other half at this time. So right now, like I said, uh, this is what it looks like. It's a uh, so be mother mold, the half shell here and the other half there. So it would come together. Uh, so we're gonna do one set at a time. Uh, now that we have our actual Mohawk or shadow frame on here, uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna grab our actual, the wooden dowels lugs that we cut out and we fiberglass and we're gonna put a little bit of silicone here and there and embed them on there and we're going to create our keys or registration marks for our mother mold shell okay here i'm actually grabbing my wooden dowel that uh, we spoke about this is actually a was a one inch by 36 inch and uh, we're going to be cutting into one fourth sections i actually measured out here uh, one fourth and this will be my stop just to make continuous little one fourth um, cuts here Make sure you guys wear eye protection when doing this but it's trying to get and then we're gonna actually sand sand it down so it's nice and smooth okay here's what I got after a couple of moments I uh, just got a few get them out I mean you could probably use these uh, when you make another mold or something but I just went ahead and cut a few here uh, what we want to do is actually sand all these little things off here and get it nice and smooth before we go to the next step all right and this is what's left of our wooden dowel for now i mean save it for later just finish it off all right now that we've finished cutting our wooden dowel we're actually going to sand off all this little stuff off of them so they're nice and smooth just get a sanding block i get a 80 grit or whatever you have laying around that'll work just uh get them smooth or as smooth as you can and this is what you should get okay now i'm going to show you guys how to do your actual uh, mixture here to coat our wooden slugs that we cut out and prepared uh, here's our prepared wooden slug with our actual quilting pin in the center not all the way through just enough to actually hold on there <laughs> what we're going to be doing is uh, getting our mixture ready uh, what I use here is our Bondo fiberglass resin and when you buy this make sure your liquid hardener is inside okay now read the instructions for your whatever fiberglass resin you're using uh, in this case uh, for every ounce 
of fiberglass resin here. Uh, it uses 10 drops of liquid hardener. So just remember for every ounce, it's 10 drops of liquid hardener. And the way we get our ounce measurements, uh, if you remember, is using our one tablespoon. You, two tablespoons equals one ounce. So I've already done one cup here. What I did was grab two tablespoons of water and got my one ounce measurement. And I marked a line here. I used a Sharpie marker, marked it one ounce on this cup. And the second line you see here is actually so when I grab another cup, stick it right on top. That's one ounce on the cup I'm going to be using because it doesn't sit flush all the way through. And I measured two tablespoons of water in this cup, put it on here, and saw where my one ounce mark was at. So what I'll do is I'll keep using this as reference. So I'll just keep putting a cup here and put my one ounce of liquid uh, uh, fiberglass resin and then do my 10 drops of liquid hardener. And the same thing applies if you're doing the actual uh, gawking the silicone. Uh, you'd have your one ounce mark there, fill it up with silicone and do the uh, mixture just like we've done before. I uh, started using these cups because we ran out of the other cups. Uh, and this is what I was able to find. These cups here are 24 count, they're shot cups. Got these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, you know, a buck, 24. Uh, it'd be great because we're just using them one time each and just throwing them away. What I also did is, uh, this is optional. I went and got me some uh, magnetic tape. It's, a, it's half an inch by 25 feet and I think I got it for like about three bucks or 350 I had a coupon at Michael's I got this at Michael's and I got it for like around three bucks and what I did with that is actually if you look here let me zoom in on it cut out a strip I uh, glued it with the glue gun onto a coat hanger and what we're using it for is when we actually coat these here with the fiberglass resin, we're able to hang them. So you can see I got a couple, quite a few hanging up there already. Uh, they're not covered, but just to demonstrate that uh, how the magnetic strip actually holds them on there. So once they're coated, you have somewhere to actually be putting them on there nice and neat. And so they're just standing there and just drying. Now, like I said, this is optional. You can hang them however you want. It's just uh, something a lot easier for me, a lot neater. Uh, also got these <coughs> brushes at the Dollar Tree. You know, I'll be using this little small one, but I mean, for a buck, it comes in a pack of three. So I just said how I could use these later on for something else. So I got me this. And the reason I'm using this is uh, once I dip them in the resin, I could actually clean off if there's too much or any excess before I actually go and hang it on the actual hanger there. <clears throat> Respirator guys, definitely when working with your fiberglass, uh, you need to use your respirator uh, it's to protect your lungs. Uh, so make sure when you're doing the mixture, <clears throat> I'll show you how when I do the mixture now, I, I'm gonna be wearing this, I won't be talking because uh, all you hear is mumbling. So make sure you have your respirator on. And I'll show you what the what it looks like when I actually do the mixture here. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the actual mixture of the fiberglass resin. Uh, this here, what you're gonna want to do with your liquid hardener, uh, they are sealed. You're going to want to grab one of your quilting pins and actually puncture a hole right in the center here. This way, you could get your drops into your actual fiberglass resin. Now we're gonna pour our one ounce. Just make sure to try to keep everything clean at all times. Now we're gonna add our liquid hardener. 
remember, 10 drops. And now you're just gonna mix it all up. Respirator on. Okay, so now I've actually coated all my wooden slugs. As you can see, I got about 12 in each row of hangers uh, off of my, the same one ounce mixture of fiberglass resin. And I still have some left over here. So like I said, it's probably better to make a lot more. So we, we still have, as you can see, we still have resin left over. So you can actually have some left over for maybe future projects. You just try to use as much as you can of the resin. I would have probably had another hanger or two in a row and uh, probably would have given me another hanger full of uh, wooden slugs here. But as you can see, they're all now coated and hanging. Uh, we could actually dispose of this here. Uh, the brush too, go ahead and throw that away. Also, as you can see, I laid out some aluminum foil on the bottom. Uh, make sure you protect uh, whatever, wherever you're doing a countertop, kitchen countertop, uh, any table or anything you hang these over. Uh, make sure to put some aluminum foil under it so you could just pick it up, grab it, throw it away and just protect whatever work table or whatever surface you're using. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and let these dry now. And then I'll show you uh, the next step of how to actually take the pins out and actually smooth these out with uh, 80 grit sandpaper. Okay, once all our slugs have actually dried from the fiberglass coating, uh, we're gonna take off the quilting pins out. And as you can see, some of them are gonna have like little nubs. Some of them are gonna have more than others or bigger than others. Uh, like this one here. Uh, what we're gonna do is actually grab our sanding block, with the 80 grit sandpaper and uh, sand these down flat uh, we just want to get nice and smooth don't want to sand too much where you actually take the coating or the fiberglass coating off just get a nice kind of even surface on these uh, this one here i've actually already sanded down it had a real big nub here uh, you can notice a color difference of where it's sanded down but it's pretty much what you want it to look like just nice and even surfaces on there and here's what it looks like after I've sanded all the nubs and these have all been coated with the fiberglass resin. Okay, here's some uh, registration keys. What you do is you do your same mixture of silicone like we've done before. And then all we're gonna do is actually uh, start putting our little keys or remember our slugs that we coated with fiberglass and put them in there and just spread the silicone out. Uh, I tend to use uh, uh, the one ounce mixture that we do so with that one ounce mixture it allows me to do two uh, keys 